What's up, y'all? Mike back here. Uh, it's been two weeks, and I, I'm sorry about that. You know, it's been kind of rough maintaining work and school and home. And <clears throat> I try to be just focused on home right now because, you know, my my wife and my kids they don't see me Monday through Friday until Friday night, basically. I'm up at 4 a.m., gone by 4:15, gone all day until I get out of school at about 10, and then I get home about 10:30 because I live. Uh, 40 miles from work and school so <clears throat> you'll get to see me a lot so I'm gonna really put a lot of focus on them right now uh, but you know I think everyone would understand so right now tomorrow is going to be the first day of my 12th week of the program um, since my last video we have done a midterm that meant absolutely nothing the grade that you get on that basically just provides them a <clears throat> a path on how well you're grasping the information that they're giving you. We had a test uh, on three different motors, but different variations, which I'll post somewhere on this screen. Um, I got I got a pretty good score on it. Then we start do, um, doing the boards more, which I'll post somewhere here. Basically, he gives you a drawing on the screen. You have to copy it, go to the board, and wire it. You have to wire four different circuits successfully 10 times. Uh, then they'll give you a fuse, make sure the circuit that you did works compared to what you drew, um, and then you'll take your voltage readings and move on to the next. I've knocked out two already. I have two more to go. This week, we have our stand and deliver final. Uh, that consists of drawing that you have to replicate from memory. After you get that drawing correctly, you have to go wire it on the board. After you wire it correctly, you have to take all your voltages. And then after you take the voltage, you have to go and, I think there's like a few questions you have to answer. Now, the one bizarre thing about that whole stand and deliver though is, if you don't get the drawing correct, you do not pass the class and you must retake the class. And to repeat, if you don't get the drawing correct, which I'll post somewhere here, the drawing that we are studying right now. Very simple, mind you. <clears throat> but if you don't get that drawing correct, you have to retake a whole month of a course in the school that you're going to. Let that sink in. That is the dumbest shit I have heard yet. I'm, yeah, you can say I'm whining. I don't think that that would be something that would be an accurate way to grade a student. You know, with me, myself, I've done very well in this class and the last class. You know, I got a pretty good grade in the midterm, in the 90s. Um, I got a, like a 90 on the motors test. And I've been, you know, all of my, my homework has been hundreds. I've been very good. But you're going to judge me and the information I learned off of one drawing. And if I don't get that drawing correct, I have to retake this course. That's pretty stupid. So, you know, rant over, sorry. <clears throat> um, but that is this week. So we're studying and, and just trying to get the information and making sure we're, we are uh, um, getting it right, to be honest with you. We are behind in the class as a whole because we do have an individual that she likes to interrupt a lot of the times with stupid shit um, and the midterm kind of took us out all day because when we took the midterm none of us knew that it was going to mean nothing so we all studied we all you know, treated it just like a midterm it took from about 7 15 when we started the test to 9 15 that night for everyone to take the test for him to grade the tests and let you know how you did just to put on the screen that it meant nothing and it did nothing for your grade. So, you know, we were all kind of pissed off about that. We were just sitting around basically waiting for the grade tests. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, that's where I'm at now going into week 12. Um, to touch on a few other things, the first thing is I've gotten some emails and some messages about um, what school I'm going to, I don't want to reveal that information at this point. It's not that I, 
it's something I don't want you guys to know is that I, I want to keep this unbiased right now. I want you guys to see what I'm doing so that you can make the decision on whether or not you're going to school. If you're in Arizona, awesome. I don't want you to see my videos and think, oh, I'm going to go there too. In Arizona, there is a handful of schools. There are so many schools for HVAC, it is stupid. I chose one based off of one, the proximity to my work, and two, based off of the reviews of the information I found online. Now, again, the reason I'm doing these videos is there is basically jack shit on the internet of an honest review of a school. There's either marketing that they paid for to have students come in and basically say, I love the hell out of the school. There is paid advertisements, which you usually see on Facebook, you know, Instagram, you know, what have you. If you research HVAC schools in your area, the highest bidder in Google gets to be at the top, which is absolutely ridiculous. I just chose the school based off of the information I received, not just from the school, because the school is very persuading when I went in there, but based off of the ability and the exposure of the school. How much exposure to this field does the school have? I will say that there's a handful of teachers or instructors in the school that have HVAC experience, um, such as the instructor I have right now. He has no previous experience with HVAC. He worked on electrical components like automatic gates. Yeah, he should teach, you know, he should absolutely teach the electrical course because that's going to help you a lot. But he should not walk into a classroom and teach me HVAC unless he's been you know, doing that for a while. But apparently these teachers will go to other classrooms and learn that class. That's awesome. But that doesn't help me if I have a question that you've never come across before. Thus, the reason why my last teacher in the fundamentals of refrigeration was, you know, he was a veteran of the field. He had been doing it for a while. And we could throw any question at him and he would probably have an answer. And he was really good. A lot of us retain that knowledge amazingly. <clears throat> but I don't want someone that doesn't know jack shit about the trade teaching me because then I go to answer a question and they go, oh, uh, let's read the book. No, you, you should have some of these answers in your head already. But the instructor I have right now, really super cool guy, uh, really funny. You know, he's really interactive, but he teaches you everything you want to know and he'll even stay longer after class. I mean, he's like, if you guys want to stay longer and do the boards, it's fine. If you guys want to me to explain something, you can stay after. He's, so he's really cool. I'm not putting him down. I'm just saying I don't want you to teach me a, an HVAC course. If you want to teach me something else, it's cool, but HVAC courses should stay with people that have been there. Um, the other thing I want to touch on is, you know, the channel. Um, it's not, you know, I know it's not a big channel. People probably pass through. We don't, you know, I don't have millions of views. Um, as I said earlier in the videos, I'm not going to monetize these videos. I'm not going to ask for money from YouTube or put a stupid ad somewhere. If an ad shows up, I don't know why. I didn't apply for AdSense or whatever they call it, stupid shit they've asked me about. I haven't applied for, you know, monetary, you know, things to be put somewhere. I haven't asked for any of that because I don't want it. I just want this to be me being there for y'all. So, um... But, you know, if you guys, if there's something else you guys want to see, you know, if there's more information you want to know about, if you want more pictures, if you want me to do something else like the sweep, the purge and sweep I did on my unit outside, um, if you want an interview from maybe, you know, like an HVAC tech or someone that goes to school with me to see what they think about it, um, you know, yeah, I'm more than happy to do all that. Um, you know, if you guys want a live video like a live stream on here where we can all just talk and, and shoot shit and you know we can ask questions cool um if you guys play video games i play call of duty mobile and i play PUBG on my phone i don't use consoles because i just don't have the time for that but you know if you guys want my username shoot me a message you know on youtube or email me or whatever you do and, and ask and i'm more than happy to you know give it out we can all just you know have fun and play and have a good time um but I just want everyone, including myself, to get as much out of these videos as, like, as we can. And I would love to learn from each and every one of you. Um, if you guys have something that I don't know, or if you guys are going to a trade school, 
um, what's different between the trade school you're going to and what I'm going to. So I do want to keep this an open platform. And you know, if you want to have a phone call or if you guys would like to do an interview with me, you know, I'd love to get that information going and and, and uh, you know put it on the channel. So uh, the last thing I want to touch on is the giveaway. Um, I'm still trying to come up with ideas. You know, the thermocouple was really cool, but then I kind of thought about it and I basically said, well, I don't think a lot of people are going to want, going to want a thermocouple. So I was thinking, you know, maybe sending a free tool, um, sending, you know, maybe it's like a $25 gift card to like, you know, Amazon or like a Visa gift card you can use anywhere, something. Um, you know, I'd like to do a giveaway for you guys because, you know, we only have 28 subscribers on the channel, but I mean, why the hell not? I'm not, was never anticipating this to be a huge thing. So if anyone of you have any ideas, post them below, and let me know. So, um, anything I spoke about in this video, I will post pictures up. Any other information you want, my email address is in my profile, you know, feel free to shoot me a message. Um, maybe I'll start like a, a kick or I don't know what the hell I call these things, but you know, something where you guys can message me. I'm never going to get my personal phone number out, don't even try it, but you know, some way you guys can get in touch with me and faster than I guess the comments on YouTube. But um, yeah, I kind of want to make this something for us new guys and even the veterans. I, I want to spark the conversation of, of education. A lot of guys are against the trade school and they say go learn it. A lot of guys are for it and they say you'll always be learning. And I agree with that. I wholeheartedly agree with that in this trade and all the other trades. You'll be continuously learning. But I, I, I want to make a platform so that we can help new people like myself be more successful and want to come to this field because it seems like not a lot of people want to. Um, but regardless, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. If you want to roast me, you want to give me feedback, you want to beat me up, anything, post them below in the comments. I take each and every one seriously because I want to be as best as I can be. Um, but nevertheless, I'll get back on the normal week schedule uh, this week. But if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Peace.